<laughs> Welcome back guys, Ryan and Ben, RB Reptiles, here to talk to you today about the future of ball pythons. This is what we think ball python market is going to be in uh, 2020 and the next couple years. So we're halfway through 2020, so maybe in the next few years. So make sure you guys stay tuned for this one. Future of ball pythons. What do you think, Ben? So I think when we were starting to talk about this idea, I know that we've done the five tips of how to make your business successful. We were kind of thinking, you know, what information can we give just from what we've learned over the last nine years of doing this and where we think that uh, things are going. We don't want to influence you guys on what to buy. We don't have any vested interest in it. Um, Lori and oh. Arroyo. <clears throat> um, oh, wait. <laughs> no. So uh, I think my personal opinions and these are our opinions on all this my personal opinion is obviously there's a lot of recessive things going on so something that we weren't into as much in the beginning was recessive stuff i think that it's become very apparent that everybody needs to be getting into some type of recessive um they hold their value a little bit better things like that and so if i was going to pick a, a morph that is kind of the next thing that i think is coming up recessive wise i would have to say puzzle Hypo. oh puzzle puzzle <laughs> So, um, I'm, the reason I picked that is uh, it's something that's still pretty expensive. Um, I think in the next year or two, a lot more people are going to be working with it. And it also does a ton of awesome things with uh, the patterns and even a little bit of the coloration. So, I think that it's kind of the next big recessive morph that will be accessible to everybody. Um, so, if you can get into it now, I think it would be a good thing. We haven't gotten into it yet. We do need to get into it, I think, in my opinion. So... La -ti -da. Yeah, your turn. Well, just to build on that, like also when you're talking about in investments and like kind of blazing your own trail, like the puzzle, not a lot's been done with it yet. Like people are working with it and cool things are coming out every day, but like there's a ton of different ways you can go with it and you can do your own thing. You could coattail, whatever you want to do. It is mm -hmm. hard to develop your own project from the ground up and get that steam behind it. So like yep. a lot of people are saying, oh, do your own thing. Well. That's great advice, but also like, if there's a lot of push behind a, a certain direction, trying to go against that flow is tough. So it depends on your situation. We try to do a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and one of the ways we're doing that is trying to put weird codoms in the stuff like Lori or Lace or Arroyo. Mm -hmm. Those are probably the weirdest ones we have. So another reason why uh, I think that puzzle is coming around is when you take a look at um, some some genes, like people do things with them and they're like, eh, you know, they're not that great or, or people, it kind of fizzles out. And then somebody finds that one combination that really, you know, just lights fire to that project. And my, my example for that would be Red Stripe. I think that Red Stripe... Um, it's been around for a while. It's been written off uh, for a long time. And mm -hmm. then Justin Gabelka puts it into something really cool. And I'm sure other people have as well. But um, he really, really, like, did a good marketing on it. And that gene's blown up. Um, I think there's a few genes that have come back around. Like, Black Pastels come back around. Spot Nose. Chocolate. Chocolate's chocolate coming. Yeah. So I think that chocolate, you know is one of the genes that I had. You can talk about it since you brought it up, but chocolate's yeah, one of the genes that I was thinking. I'll just show off some chocolate while you talk about it. So chocolate, I wish that it, we would have kept it. Um, we had a chocolate female, just a single gene from BHB back in the day, and she produced one clutch for us, and then we decided that we were going to get away from the chocolate gene because people weren't really doing a lot with it. And now we're like, oh, man, I wish we would have done it. And Ryan's showing off our... Uh, chocolate trick black pastel mm -hmm. and Sounds it is delish. a smoker um, that one is awesome it's actually in one shed. of my favorite and it is in shed. so I think the chocolates uh, another one that's coming back around and that you know people are starting to put into a lot of things um, dark jeans if we talk about blazing your own trail and this isn't obviously our project this is a project we got in from Senior Vu. Yeah. We, we got the voodoo here. I would love to see this and Pied and Clown and 
puzzle would probably be awesome. And puzzle, yeah. Even putting something like this into like uh, our Lori stuff. How about? <laughs> it's really uh, what I want to do. Like sunset. Yeah. I don't know. So it could be interesting. The voodoo, and he's just about big enough to start breeding for us. Um, we haven't started pairing him yet, right? He's I, on the cusp. Tr I put him in with the, one of our females that we weren't doing anything with just to see what was going on, and I didn't see any locks, so he is still a little small, but I figured one female, well, yeah. it wouldn't hurt to try. So we put him in with a super inchy female. Maybe he's doing the business while I'm not looking, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's another gene that's I always liked was Enchi, but sure isn't everything anymore. So Ryan, what do you got going on? What's what's your next pick? I'm just showing off some cool animals. We're supposed to be giving tips. This, my tip is to always show cool animals in your videos. This is a pastel yellow belly lace, and I love the way that lace and clown works together. Um, I think personally, like one of the things I want to do, we put this into clown with. Rio, mm. which is the Super Royal, I think that might be interesting. Yep. And then you can go like Super Lace or White Lace Rio. Oh man, that'd be really cool. Super dark black back animal, and this brightens everything up. It's almost like a Kodam Desert Ghost. And you see how it starts destroying the belly. But then when you get white lace, this all kind of comes up, it's all white. So I wonder what that would do in contrast with the super dark black back of the Rio. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, scramble it all up, we'll do a uh, clown in there. I don't know. <laughs> so there's a lot of gene stacking. I think one of the things that uh, we're starting to see more and more of is there was a, a time where we were gene stacking, like you just were trying to put as many genes into an animal as you could. And now people are starting to realize that there's certain animals that look better with less genes. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of banana combinations are coming out that are just the different combinations that aren't stacked. And they are just unbelievable. Um, I don't know like if I can mention, but Ozzy just put out you know, um, some Super OD banana stuff that looks uh, crazy. I don't know. Like, you didn't drop the pick in there. I probably should. I, I feel like uh, he's producing lots of crazy things though but I think banana um, is one of those ones that's timeless I think there's a few timeless animals out there that really hit the pet market which I think a lot of hobbyists want to sell into um, if you can sell you know a really cool snake into the the pet market I think it's a benefit um, so bananas are one of those that will consistently sell uh, especially into the pet market so finding those right combinations uh, you know, black pastel bananas, I think are cool. Mojave bananas. Mojave inch bananas. Yeah. Those are nice. They're all, they're all very, very cool animals without getting anything too crazy into them. Now, you know, you can obviously stack jeans in there to make them, uh, maybe more valuable if you will on dollars wise, but, um, just the, the beauty of the animal bananas are just awesome. So I think that that's something that's that's never gonna go away. One thing that I like are tri stripes. What do you think about that? I think it's great. What do you think about that? Suck it, Ben. <laughs> so that's your next uh, recessive pick. I like tri stripes. I like lavender albinos. I like lavender albino tri stripes. We could just sit here and talk about all the things we like, but we're we think that are going to be extra popular in the next uh, couple of years and accessible for a lot more people and people will be doing a lot of crazy things with them. I think you're right. Tri-Stripe is well, definitely... people are developing it and they're getting into the double recessives with it now. So uh, you've seen, pro maybe you've seen the Desert Ghost Tri-Stripe, the Ultra Mill Tri-Stripe, the Lavender, Bond, Lavender Albino Tri-Stripe. Those are all really cool. And you're starting to see some of the possibilities like if just a trash light by itself, you put some code arms into it, it looks really cool. But now you're starting to see the double recessives come in. It's opening up like Pandora's box of what you can do with it. So yeah, that ultra mel tri stripe is. Oh, it's so nice. So nice. Um, I think that with the pandemic that's happened, I think a lot of people are, have developed their online sales. Um, so if you're just getting in or if you're, you know, been doing this for a little while, I think online sales are going to be um, pretty important. 
Uh, I think they are important right now. I think that you should be developing that more and more. Um, we use Morph Market, a little shout out to them. I think a lot of people do. Um, and I think it's a, it's a good resource. It's a good start. In fact, you know, we even shut down our website because people weren't going there. They were only going to our Morph Market. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's, that's a tip for me. Your turn. Oh, you got to be uh, present in social media as much as it could be draining to do that. Mm -hmm. um, the more that you can put yourself out there and kind of introduce yourself to people, especially strangers over the internet that are trying to send you money, sometimes, not all the time, sometimes, <laughs> the better. So, you know, do a YouTube channel, get a TikTok, do an Instagram, something. Just so if I'm looking around and I'm thinking about maybe buying from somebody I've never bought from before, one of the first thing I'm doing is try to find their Facebook, their Instagram, something that I can see. I can see their collection. I can see how they take care of it. I can see a little bit of them. I know that they're a real person. So yeah, one way or another, you gotta be on social media. Mm -hmm. For better or for worse. <laughs> yeah, I think, that's, uh, I think that's a good tip. Get yourself a catchy. This video is sponsored by Catchy. Can't see it. I'm in the way. Hey. This video is, we already sponsored this video, I think. Yeah, this video is sponsored by lots of people. Sponsored by Catchy. The, um, that's just a pro tip. If you have problems with fruit flies or ford flies, especially from your coconut bedding, stuff like that, those things are awesome, man. You don't want that, that tape that you're hanging off the ceiling, you're gonna get your head stuck in it, like. Yeah. Catchy is just like a little vacuum, sucks it in, tracks it with a UV light. It's really cool. Yeah, they work really well. So, um, and also I think that my last tip, if I can put it out there, is just connect with people. So be available to take phone calls, be available to, to interact. Um, people call us and they message us all the time. And I, it's something that we try to pride ourselves on about always responding, uh, always being personable and being available to people, um, no matter what time of day. It's just like normal sales stuff. Like we go to reptile shows and we walk around and we're looking at stuff we'll see people that come up and they s try to shake your hand say hi what's going on try to engage you mm -hmm. we walk by tables or we'll sit there and we'll look at something and the person won't look at you and won't say a word and you're like all right well i guess i'll just keep going <laughs> yeah so you got to really put yourself out there even though it sells. a lot of people in the <laughs> reptile world don't like to do that i mean it's just the way it is um it's one of those things you just gotta say just hi try yep say hi in conclusion, <laughs> uh, the other tip that we would give is to make sure you guys are enjoying what you do and enjoying the animals. Um, how can you beat it? This is a, a uh, pastel banana clown uh, female from Bavu, and uh, she's beautiful. And what do you got? This is a pastel mahogany head clown female from Mark Bailey. Yep. And uh, she's eating and hopefully we can get her up to size by November. <laughs> mm. So that'll be awesome. We'll see, but you know, if she doesn't go then she'll go at some point. But uh, yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below. Let us know what you guys think about the tips that we gave and the uh, picks that we have for the genetics that are out there on the market. And also make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it. Go check out our other channel, Herb House Rock. It's our podcast channel. We have a bunch of really cool people on there doing a lot of fun uh, interviews. And uh, make sure you hit that notification bell too to let you know when we're producing things. We really appreciate you guys and we hope that you guys are, you know, doing your thing and having fun. So here's to a good rest of 2020. <laughs> Maybe we should just skip it and go right to 2021. Huh? 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 <laughs> Future of ball pythons. By RMB Reptiles. That's RMB writing, Reptiles. Writing the book. We're writing the book right now. Okay. Eco Publishing. Thank you, Bob. Bob Ashley, thank you. This video is brought to you by Bob Ashley and Eco Publishing. Yes, so make sure you go check us out with all of our published goods. I used to be told that I could, that I'm getting paid an experience at a couple of my jobs. They were lying to you. That's true. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> <That> is, um, <laughs>
Pro tip, if you ever get told you're getting paid an experience, really somebody's taking advantage of you. So, <laughs> welcome. So we're halfway through 2020, so maybe in the next few years. If you don't know that we're cheating in a half a year, then. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was gonna flow into the next. There you go. Stay tuned. And it was. Stay tuned. <laughs> no, too late. You gotta do it more. Hit the like button. And stay tuned. Her pals rock. Her pals rock. <clears throat> I think you just like seeing yourself in the camera. Like every time that's facing you, you're always like. Well, I just want to see what they see. Hey, just running. Look, I'm doing. The, I'm running. It's fun. Say goodbye. It, I don't know if you ever noticed man. That, but if you watch, it does exactly what you do. Yeah. <laughs> it's super weird. It's, it's different than a mirror. Smile, even if you're you're sad inside. Much like me, just smile. He's so sad inside. I'm so sad because <laughs> the last week's video, the clutch was terrible. Oh, it was so a poor? shame. <laughs> so poor. Oh. So poor. <laughs> oh, shoot. <clears throat> Shout out Powerline Reptiles. Love you guys. <laughs> this video has been brought to you by <laughs> Powerline <laughs> Reptiles. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. <clears throat> Look, if you want to get a sponsor, it's real easy. You just say that you have a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to be sponsored. We have like two sponsors for real. But, you know, not really. I what's, mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? They're going to send you a letter telling you yeah. to stop? Yeah. Okay. We got an email once. That was it. From one person. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 2021. I don't want to say it. Never mind. We, we're on, like, I have, like, this energy, and then you're like, 2021. Crash and burn, baby. Crash, <laughs> Crash and burn. <laughs> All right, so do you want to do a, all right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Super excited. Super excited. Super excited. Hey, thanks, guys. Oh, hi. Uh, hello. She is beautiful. The lavender is in there. I know, right? Imagine orange dream clown to this. <laughs> 